and lovely kids assalamu alaikum how are you all i wish all are fine by the grace of almighty alhamdulillah i am also fine today again i am present with you to take your english class now welcome to you all to our today's online class let me introduce first this is your maryam sultana miss teacher of milestone preparatory kg school sector 7 class 2 i know you are studying a lot at home now dear students every day before starting the class what do i do yes i ask about your previous lesson today also i am going to ask about your previous lesson now get ready for giving the answer now who can say what was our previous topic yes our previous topic was animals and where they live okay so now i am asking the question answer all of you you will read the question now question number 1 what does the tiger live yes the tiger lives in the forest very good now the next question question number 2 what is the name of cow's house yes the name of cow's house is shed very good now who can say the answer of question number 3 what is the name of bird's house this question is very easy the answer is very easy now who can say yes the name of bird's house is nest excellent now last question whose house is name is den who lives yes cat no monkey lives in the den no who tiger lion they live in the den okay now i am asking the make sentence now make sentences first word is lion now who can make one sentence with lion yes the lion lives in the forest now next word pawn now who can make one sentence by using pawn yes ducks are swimming in the pond okay now the last word forest who can make one sentence by using forest yes animals live in the forest okay very good now your students again you will practice this book work at home now i am going to start our today's class okay now dear students who can say where am i standing yes i stand near the board okay this is a box and this is a marker now what i am doing now i am doing what yes i am keeping the marker but where i am keeping the marker in the box okay i am keeping the marker in the box now dear students first sentence i told i stand near the board look the first sentence i stand near the board so in the first sentence we have is telling about the position of me where am i i am near the board okay so who can say in this sentence which 
word beats the relation between I and the board. Who can say? Yes, near. So near, this word beats the relation between me and the board. Now, the next sentence. The next sentence, I told. What is the marker? The marker is in the box. Now here, who can say? Which, in this sentence, which word connects the relation between the marker and the box? Who can say? Yes. In. In this word makes the relation between box and marker. Okay. Now, here, near and in. They are telling the position of some, someone or something. So, do you know here, near, in, these words are called what? Yes, these words are called preposition. Very good. So, we use preposition for telling the position of naming word or noun or pronoun. Now, can you guess today which topic I am going to discuss? Yes, preposition. Very good. Now, dear students, look the definition of preposition. Now, the definition of preposition. A preposition is a word that links nouns or pronouns to another set of words. To show the relation between them in terms of location, direction or time. So, preposition is a word that comes after the noun or pronoun. It is a connection word that builds a relationship with another noun or pronoun. Now, I am telling some examples. In, on, under, near, between, before, so behind. These are called preposition. Now, dear students, here I am showing the examples with picture. So, we can see here a ball and a box. So, here ball and box are naming words. Okay. So, first picture, what we can see? Where is the ball? We can see the ball is in the box. Okay, so in is telling about the position of the ball. Where is the ball? Now, the next picture we can see here. Where is the ball? Yes, here we can see the ball is on the box. And the ball is touching the box. Okay, so here will be on. Now, the next picture where is the ball? The ball is under the box. Okay. Now the next picture what we can see? Where is the ball? The ball is next to the box. Now the next picture here. Can you see the ball? Yes. We can see the ball. Where? Behind the box. Excellent. Now the next picture. Where, where is the ball? The ball is in front of the box. And the last picture we can see the ball is between the balls. Now dear students, here I am showing the answer. So first picture, it will be in, then on, then under, then next to, then behind, then in front of, then between. So here these are called preposition and these words that comes after the noun. Okay. And here these words that build, build our relationship with another noun. Okay. So, preposition tells the position about the noun or pronoun. So, remember this one. So, we use preposition to tell where someone or something is. 
Okay, now dear students, see here. Take out your English CW copy. Okay, write in your CW copy today's date, and your book is English for today. Topic: What I have written uses of e and on. So, from P position today. I will discuss only the uses of e and on. Again, I am telling today you will learn only the uses of e and on. And item discussion and exercise. Now, here I am showing three pictures. Can you see the picture? Okay. Okay. Now I will write also the sentence beside the pictures. So today I am asking the exercise on uses of e and on. Now the first sentence. The first sentence. All of you read. The apple is that's the box. Here apple is the naming word. Box also naming word. Okay. So where is the apple? We can see the apple is inside the box. So it will be in. Here E is telling about the apple. Where is the apple? In the box. Okay. Now the next sentence. The next sentence. All of you read. The ball is that's the table. So where is the ball? We can see in the picture. The ball touches the table. The ball touches the table. So here what will be? Yes, the ball is on the table. Here on is telling about the ball. Where is the ball? Okay, and on makes the relation between the ball and the table. Now the next picture. Where is the object? What we can see here? We can see here flower vase and table. Okay, now read number three. The flower vase is that's the table. Okay, what will be here? Here also we can see the flower vase touches the table. So it will be on. So the flower vase is on the table. Okay, here also on is telling about the flower vase. Where the flower vase is. Now dear students, go to the next slide. Here we can see two pictures. Okay. Now here also I am asking the exercise about on and in. Now number 4. Number 4. The cat is that's the sofa. So where the cat is here? We can see the cat is on the sofa. Very good. So here also telling about the cat. Where is the cat? Now number 5. Number 5, the sandals are, that's the box. Where, is the, where are the sandals? Yes, we can see in the picture, the sandals are on the box. Okay, very good. Now, dear students, you will practice this one at home. Now, I am showing another slide. Look at the picture, fill in the blanks with E or on. Look here beside the sentences we can see a picture. So in this picture we can see what bag, pencils, books, lamp. Okay, now you will tell where are they. Okay, now all of you read number one. Number one, the bag is that's the chair. So in this picture we can see where is the bag? Yes, the bag is on the chair. Okay, here also look bag, chair are naming words and on builds the relation between bag and chair. Now number two. Number two, the pencils are that's the cup. Can you see the pencil? Okay, where, is, where are the pencils? We can see the pencils are inside the cup. So it will be in, in the cup. Okay, so in is telling where is the pencils. Now, number three. Number three, 
the books are that's the bag so in this picture we can see where is the book the book is on the table no the books are in the bag so here also e connects the relation between the books and the bag now the last number number 4 number 4 the lamp is dash the desk so why is the lamp the lamp is on the desk very good so here in and on tell where someone or something is position tells the position of naming word or pronoun so we use the position for telling the position of noun or naming word or pronoun now feedback so today what you have learned from our today's lesson now i would like to ask the question answer from our today's class all of you you also read the sentence what i am writing here now dear students what is this this is a book now i am keeping the book here so where i am keeping the book on the chair so the book is touching the chair so it will be on now i am writing the sentence the book is that the chair so the correct answer will be what e no i didn't keep inside the chair no so i keep where on the chair and the book is touching the chair so it will be on okay so the book is on the chair and so on is telling where something is okay now the next sentence now what i am i am writing but where i am writing on the board i am writing on the board now the sentence is we write that the board so we write where on the board now the next sentence the flowers are that's the box okay so where we keep flower on the box no under no in the box okay now the next sentence the clock is that's the wall so we put clock where in the wall no so it will be what on the wall because the clock touch the wall okay now the next sentence the next sentence birds are flying that's the sky on the sky no in the sky birds cannot touch the sky so it will be in the birds are flying in the sky now the last sentence my birthday is that may so it will be what it will be on okay remember that for timing we will use the preposition on okay so we use on for timing so may is telling about the time which which month i celebrate my birthday so it will be on my birthday is on may okay now dear students so you will practice this one at home look your homework number is 19 and worksheet 10 so when you will do the homework you will write the homework number and worksheet number also in your homework copy now i am making you understand about the homework okay i will listen carefully so here i have written fill in the blanks e or on okay now number one number one dash monday i go to music so what will be here before this name what we, we use yes we use on so it will be on monday i go to music class now number two 
I live dash Bangladesh. So I live. What will be here? Which preposition in Bangladesh? So before places name we use in. So I live in Bangladesh. Now number three. See you dash Thursday. So I told before this name what will use with preposition on. So it will be what? See you on Thursday. Now number four. We walk dash the road. We walk where? Under the road? No. On the road. So it will be on. We walk on the road. Now the next number. Children are reading dash the library. So children are reading where? On the library? No. In the library. Yes. So the correct answer is in. Now dear students, you will practice this exercise at home. And you will, if you have any problem, you will watch the recorded class again. Now dear students, I hope you have entered that class. But what you will do at home? You will watch the recorded class if you face any problem. And you will maintain your CW copy, HW copy. Today I have given the sheet work. So when you will do the sheet work, you will give the sheet work number and homework number in your homework copy. If you don't understand anything, you will call your subject teacher. Now dear students, today that's all from my side. Keep continuing study. Allah Hafiz.